Located in southeastern Asia, Indonesia is home to 240 million people, making it the fourth largest country in the world. The capital city is Jakarta, and as you can see here, it is a lively city with heavy traffic on the roads and people moving about at all hours of the day. Diversity in Indonesia can be observed through the many cultures that are present and the many religions that are practiced. By far, the majority of people are Muslim, but Christianity and Hinduism are also practiced. Hinduism is practiced by most of the population of Bali, one of the country's 33 provinces, as well as in parts of Sumatra and Java. At the Hindu temple, people come to pray, worship, and chant. The variety of styles in Indonesian architecture was influenced by the Indian culture as well as the Chinese, Arab, and European cultures. Together, the overall effect of the different styles reveals the diversity of the Indonesian culture and the historical and geographic influences that have shaped the country today. Indonesia consists of over 17,000 islands, and although this creates a rather unique society, it is also one of the most susceptible environments for natural hazards, such as tsunamis. On December 26, 2004, a magnitude 9.2 earthquake occurred in the Indian Ocean near Sumatra, Indonesia, triggering a devastating tsunami that hit the shores of all nearby countries. Several countries were affected by this disaster, but nothing compares to the loss felt by the people of Indonesia. About 225,000 people were killed from this earthquake and tsunami, 100,000 of which were in Indonesia alone. This tsunami was one of the deadliest natural disasters of modern history, leaving over half a million people homeless. Ever since the devastating tsunami of December 26, 2004, Indonesia has been striving to develop an effective tsunami warning system. A crucial element to this system has been regular training of the staff that operate the warning centers. These warning centers are spread throughout the country from Sumatra all the way to the east. Let's have a look now at some of the activities that take place during the training courses in seismology and tsunami warnings. After this tsunami, international support was provided by countries such as the United States, Japan, and Germany, all countries with experience in early warning systems. The United States Geological Survey has worked with these countries and other international organizations in presenting a series of training courses for the BMKG in tsunami early warnings, including a three-week training program in seismology, data analysis, and tsunami detection. The Geo Research Center in Potsdam, Germany, was the lead organizer of this course. 32 students from 10 regional tsunami warning centers in Indonesia attended the training which was held in Jakarta. These participants are responsible for issuing earthquake alerts and tsunami warnings. Five principal topics were covered during the course. Seismology, including rapid earthquake location techniques and earthquake magnitude estimates. Coastal tide gauge data analysis, that is used to determine coastal sea level rise, deep ocean buoy sea level data, also called tsunometer data, that reveals tsunami waves in the deep ocean before they arrive at the shoreline, global position satellite, GPS, data analysis 
of coastal movements during a large earthquake, and numerical modeling of coastal inundation, which provides a prediction tool for future tsunami inundations. The information was presented through lecture courses as well as hands-on exercises using computers. The course lasted for three weeks and numerous Indonesian and international experts presented the training material. The students reported that the hands-on computer exercises were particularly effective. My experience uh, having uh, developed and, and given the, the uh, training courses uh, is that uh, it had a profound effect on, on the students and that uh, they can be entrusted with being uh, uh, dedicated um, uh, ingredients and, uh, and components of the warning center uh, which uh, eventually will contribute to uh, lessening the impact of the next tsunami. As a result of this and several other training courses taught by the USGS and its collaborators, Indonesia today has a fully functional tsunami warning system. Tsunamis still pose a hazard to Indonesian society, but the level of risk has been greatly reduced. Begadang jangan begadang Kalau tiada artinya Begadang boleh saja Kalau ada penuhnya Begadang jangan begadang